Good afternoon. My name is Mary Catherine Hughes. I am an 8th grade student at Ernest Ward Middle School. Throughout this year, we have learned about several interesting features of manufacturing. Manufacturing is important to everyday life and includes each and every product and service that we use. Manufacturing covers various industries from food, healthcare, and automotive, to name a few. My name is Jamison Gilman and I am an 8th grade student here at Ernest Ward. Since the population has rapidly grown, there is a need to find faster and more economic means for mass producing merchandise. With these changing times, the employment potential has also seen jobs thriving. It is said that the jobs that our generation will hold have not even been created yet. The educational background for employees in the manufacturing sector depend greatly on their job requirements. In some situations, potential employees might need to have a diploma or GED. In other aspects, jobs might require specialized certifications. Even further, some jobs might require a bachelor's degree or more. These jobs range from engineers, plant managers, quality workers, maintenance technicians, fabricators, assemblers, and etc. Pay can range from $12 an hour to over $100,000 a year depending on where you live. My name is Jaden White and I'm also an 8th grade student at Ernest Ward Middle School. In our school's Fabrication and Engineering Academy, there are approximately 165 students. In 6th grade, students learn about job safety. Furthermore, students learn how to handle and use both hand and power tools correctly. Most projects are hands-on woodworking projects that utilize the design process. In 7th grade, students expound on previous skills and utilize the engineering design process to work on several group projects such as designing and racing CO2 cars, building and testing hot air balloons, and constructing a wire and electrical circuit. In 8th grade, students take all their learned processes and apply these skills to 3D drawing and robotics work on several group projects. Moreover, these students have the opportunity to take the RECF pre-engineering certification test, which gives them the inside track to preparing for a career in engineering or another manufacturing-based field. At this point this year, we have had 20 students gain their certification. The test is approximately 165 questions long, and students must score 70% or greater to pass. Once students gain the pre-engineering certification test, they can proceed further and gain the robotic certification. Students that take an interest in the foundational skills learned while in middle school can continue their education at North Hughes Automation and Production Technology. My name is Madison Levins and I too am, am an 8th grade student at Ernest Ward Middle School. In any occupation, employees need to work together as a team to undertake and complete projects. We have done several projects to learn how to work, communicate, and complete activities in a timely manner. Depending on the project, we usually work in groups of two or three. However, for other projects, the entire class has to work together. This can be a challenge from time to time, as you can imagine, due to the differences in personalities. Like in manufacturing, fabricators and assemblers must be properly trained to follow directions to build any product. One such project that we worked on was the construction of a hot air balloon. The concept of this project was to learn the process and importance of following step-by-step -step directions. Whether written or oral instructions, this taught us that one must listen and understand the process in order to manufacture anything. Next, we were assigned a project to manufacture a yard genus set with a storage box while working in group centers. We were, given a, we were given a set of constraints that must be met to construct the game, as well as dimensional requirements for the game. We then cut the materials for assembly. Before beginning the project, Mr. Sellers asked that we conduct a cost analysis of producing the game. We researched various websites on the internet, gathering the prices of the lumber and hardware needed. We were then asked to do a price comparison to determine which store provided the most competitive cost. We were asked to safely use various handheld tools to complete the project. Some students conducted quality checks to ensure that the lumber was being cut to the correct length and sanded smoothly. Others were safety monitors that observed unsafe behaviors such as tripping hazards. Another project that we are working on is a flower box planter and setting bench for the school. We are working in a partnership with our agriculture department to create an area that will enhance the beauty of our school's entryway. We are asked to look for designs of various planter benches that could be constructed at a minimal cost. This assignment taught us, like in manufacturing, we will have to be work with another area or department to solve a problem that will have an effect on our school and our community. We also have a fundraising project that we work on all year. We have people within the community request that we build picnic tables, cornhole games, arbors, garden benches, bluebird houses, and etc. This fundraiser teaches us how to provide a service while making a profit for our academy. 
The money collected allows us to reinvest and buy new tools to use in our class. This fundraiser also teaches us how to utilize a manufacturing assembly line to make a product as quickly as possible. During our years here in this academy, we have learned how to work in a cooperative, team-oriented environment to provide a service to the community. We have also learned many life skills as well as soft skills that we will be able to showcase to be a stronger asset for a potential employer. We have also learned that hard work does pay off, and we have wor learned a work ethic that will make us superior to our competition. Again, thank you for allowing us to share this information with you.